Hello friends, welcome back. My name is PK. In this video, you will learn how to use text split function in Microsoft Excel. I'll show you few use cases also wherein you can improve your productivity in Microsoft Excel using these tips. So as you are seeing my screen, I have created this small table wherein I have the name and I want to extract the first name and last name using the text split function. So friends, first I'll show you how to use the text split function. So just type here equal to text split this function. First we need to provide the text. So just select this reference B8 comma. Then we need to provide the column delimiter. So column delimiter is by which we want to segregate the columns. So here in this case we have a space because in the name we have one space. In the inverted comma just type single space and just close. So let's close this and just hit the enter. So here you can see we are getting the first name and the last name automatically. If I will fill this down then I will get first name and the last name automatically here. because the text is split by the space. We have one space in each name here you can see in this data. But we have to fill this down formula. Now if you don't want to fill this down then we can use some other trick. I will tell you how you can do that. You cannot use the range here like this one and then enter. You cannot use this because it will return only first name in that case. So what we can do. Let's delete this. First we will use the text join function. Text join and we will join these all names by a delimiter which is not available in this name. For example, we can see we don't have any comma or some asterisk sign or some cap sign whatever you want. So let's put here this asterisk sign here and ignore blank, ignore empty cells, true. Text, you can take this range and just close the bracket hit the enter now we are getting all the names here you can see and we have won this asterisk sign between all names now we can use the text split function here text split function before this text join the text we can provide this one now comma column delimiter so column delimiter will be our space and a row delimiter. This time we will segregate this data into multiple rows. So we have provided one delimiter asterisk sign in the text join. So we will provide the same one here. Comma, if do you want to include the empty cell, you can say true. You can ignore that one also. If you want to match the case, like it is case sensitive or non-case sensitive. Here in this case we are using the delimiter as asterisk sign and the space so it doesn't make any difference whether we will take it case sensitive or non-case sensitive. So let's remove that and just hit the enter. So here we can see in one formula we are getting first name and the last name. We don't need to fill this down. Okay. So you can use this formula. Now I'll show you the huge cases wherein you can use this text split function in Microsoft Excel. Let's take first huge case. Let's say we are fetching this data from some software and when we copied it to the Excel it was pasted in single cell. Here we have some pattern in this data you can see this is the name then this is age then this is mobile number. Then we have comma for the next entry and then again name, then this is age, then this is mobile number. Now we want to convert this data into proper data with name, age and mobile number. We can quickly use here text split function. Let's use here text split function and text we will select this range A1. Now in this case the column delimiter we have this hyphen between name, age and mobile number so that will be our column delimiter so put here in the inverted comma this hyphen sign comma the row delimiter we have comma after a complete entry so we will put in the inverted comma we will put a comma sign comma ignore empty you can say true now the match case here the case is not required 
Now paired with you can take here blank or you can ignore these all things also. Let's take only row delimiter and column delimiter and just close the bracket hit the enter. Automatically it will return the name, age and the mobile number. Okay. So quickly to get the data from a combined data available in this format you can use this text split function. I'll show you the use case too also. Many times when we copy the email id from the outlook and we paste it on the excel it comes in this format. First the name then this less than sign space and less than sign then email id then this greater than sign then semicolon then space then next name and email id. Now let's say we want to fetch the name and email id here then how we can achieve that. So we can use text split function text we will select this range comma the column delimiter here it will be space and then this sign. So we will take the name then next column we will take the email id. So put the space and this less than sign that will be our column delimiter and the row delimiter will be this semicolon and then space. So here we will take the semicolon in the inverted comma and then one space. Alright, just close the bracket and just hit the end. So we are getting this here. Now only thing is in the each email id we are getting one greater than sign. So if you want to provide the greater than sign before the semicolon you can provide it here. Automatically it will be removed but in the last email id we will still see the greater than sign. So what we can do here let's don't provide the greater than sign here and keep it as it is. Now before this text split function we will use the substitute function. Substitute the text we will provide this output of this formula comma the old text we will take this greater than sign and the new text we will take blank and just close the bracket. Now just hit the enter you can see that greater than sign is removed. So using the single formula we are getting name and email id from the list of all email id and the name combined. So you can quickly convert into this format. Next huge case here we have the name and the sales. Now we have to highlight the duplicate names. When I say the highlight the duplicate name we will put the conditional formatting here to highlight the duplicate name. Now one challenge is there that is we have the name like in this format. Let me highlight these two names. So here you can see the first name and the last name. Then in the second entry we have the last name first then this first name in the last. Now these two we have to consider as a duplicate. So in that case our condition formatting will not work which is by default available in Microsoft Excel. Let me quickly show you if I will select this range and I will go to the home condition formatting highlight cells rule and duplicate value and just click on ok. So you can see nothing is highlighted. If I will copy and paste the same here then it will be highlighted because it's a duplicate now. But our system is not considering these two entry as duplicate just because they are not same. But I'm saying the first name and the last name has been suffered just because it is not showing duplicate. Now how we can highlight this as a duplicate. So we will take a support column here just insert a column. And let's take here the name as sorted name. We will hide this column. We are just taking for the support. Let me put the formula outside the table first and let me show you what I'm going to do. So first I will use here text split function. Text split. Then I will take this text and the column delimiter I will take a space and just hit the enter. So we have these two names here. Now what I will do, I will put a sort function now, sort and I will select this range, sort index I will keep it default and the sort order let's take here ascending order or descending order whatever you want and we will sort it by column, just hit the enter. So it is not showing any difference but if I will fill this down till here, let's remove the last entry till here then let's see the highlighted these name 
so this is text split this one but if you can see the sorted name are same first name and the last name are in proper place now and now if i will use the text join here text join and let's take the delimiter as space comma ignore empty true and range let's select these two and just hit the enter and if i will fill this down this j column i'm getting the proper name now here if i will highlight these two you can see they are same all right so these three functions we will apply here in this column using all these three formula so first we will put the text split then we will put the sort then we will put the text join so let's use here let's first take the text split let's take this text comma column delimiter we will take a space and just close the bracket now don't hit the enter we will take another function here which, which is sort we put this text join and sort index let's skip this text order you can take the ascending or descending whatever you want then by call yes sort by column and just close the bracket now before this sort function we will use the text join text join first we will provide the delimiter so put here a space in the inverted comma ignore empty true and then the text we can provide the output of this sort function just close the bracket and hit the enter so here you can see we have the complete name now it is highlighting in red just because we have put this duplicate highlight value so delete this for now okay now here we have this sorted name so you can see these two names also let's delete these other function from here now let's remove this color also which we have manually changed take it no fill now select this range and go to the home conditional formatting new rule go to the use a formula to determine which shell to format and here we will put the conditional formatting we will use here count if function count if and we will select this range comma the criteria we will take this first let's count this one let's remove the dollar sign take only v2 close the bracket if count of this is greater than one that means it's a duplicate so you can go to the format and you can highlight in some color okay now the highlighted names are duplicate you can search it let's take this name and you can filter it by the sorted column so here you can see it's duplicate all right friends so friends that is how you can use this text split function in the different scenarios i hope you have enjoyed this video friends if you like this video please hit the like button and please subscribe my channel to get the regular update of my videos thank you so much for watching